confused. There's some rain moving in today. It's going to get steadier this afternoon. So you do want to have the wet weather gear as you head outside the door this morning. Do not do what Kate and Chris did. Although, admittedly, you know, we're up in the middle of the night. It's kind of hard to get your stuff together. 43 degrees in Boston right now. We're in the mid 30s from Manchester to Worcester to Taunton and 35 degrees right now. All above the freezing mark, which is good news. Any precipitation coming in right now will be in the form of rain. Already some showers pushing into the Berkshires and the Litchfield Hills of Connecticut. This moisture will continue to expand eastward here over the next several hours. It's all with an area of low pressure that's back up in central Canada now. Going to be lifting north, but a little wave of low pressure is going to develop along this front and help to enhance some rainfall this afternoon in eastern Massachusetts. So between now and let's say the next three hours, a couple showers do develop north and west of Boston. So for the tail end of the morning commute, there will be some wet weather around, particularly up 93 through Manchester with some snow showers through the White Mountains and then back up into northwest Maine. For us here, late morning to afternoon, notice this downpour, this kind of line develops here from Metro West back down to the Cape and the Islands around late morning and midday. There may be some rumbles of thunder, heavy downpours from the south shore to the Cape here through early afternoon. And even by 4 or 5 o'clock, There'll be a few lingering showers and downpours in eastern Massachusetts. Could even be a rumble of thunder in there as the kind of the last push, push of moisture comes through with uh, any of the shower activity dwindling after that. So it's not a ton of rainfall. It's a quarter to a half an inch for many of us. Some locally higher amounts and some of the heaviest rain on the Cape. And that's where we have the highest risk of some isolated pockets of wind damage today as well. Wind advisories in effect along the south coast, Cape and Islands for gusts to 45 miles per hour. Um, this wind advisory is in effect from 10 a.m. until 8 p.m. So the south coast to Cape Cod, the wind is going to be out of the southeast and then actually shifts around behind that area of low pressure to the southwest later on today. Highs in the upper 40s for many of us from Lawrence to Bedford and Boston. Low 50s here when you get south of town as we punch into some relatively milder air. Overnight tonight, scattered clouds, a chilly wind. 36 for an overnight low and highs don't get out of the mid 40s tomorrow, but you have to factor in the wind. The wind tomorrow will be gusting 30 to 40 miles per hour. So despite the beautiful looking day tomorrow with mostly sunny skies, the wind chill will be in the upper 20s to mid 30s. That wind will relax a little bit on Saturday. Saturday morning, by the way, dry sunshine to start. Clouds come in pretty quickly, though. Saturday morning to midday looks dry. And then we get some showers that arrive from mid-afternoon onward with some steadier rain arriving Saturday evening and night. We may get some lingering showers early on Sunday morning, but then clearing comes in after that. Temperatures call, cool off here for the start of next week. We'll be in the low 40s on Monday. Looking dry, though, for Tuesday and Wednesday. Big travel day, too.